bello, eh? Ma stile di mio, go. Tu, tu ce l'hai mai usato? Sì. Fish number two for me. 48 pounds on the button. Taken again on the solid bag approach. Seems to be working well. With just a small, uh, slow sinking plastic cone. And the all important Banoffi cell stick mix. And this is the result. So it's getting overcast tonight and it's definitely warmer than yesterday. And we hope to catch a few more. It's definitely gone more carpy the weather, so I think we're gonna have a few tonight. off a very long torpedo mirror as you can see I've taken my jacket off I'm down to my jumper it's a very very carpy evening this evening as fish roll it out there I've seen a little bit of bubbling before dark and hopefully we're gonna catch this one's bigger brother what a torpedo of a fish That torpedo. Come on. I'm one happy guy. in the net. It's not such a bambino. Yeah, it's good bambino. It's a teenager. It's a grower. Thank you very much. So number three for me. 49.12. Well pleased with that one as well. Again on the solid bags. Doing the business for me. Selling Banoffi again. And uh, yeah. Fish definitely seem to have moved towards us tonight. I don't know if it's the overcast weather or the, I don't know, something has changed and kickstarted them really. So let's get this one back and catch. Oh! How does it feel, Pete? Big. Very powerful. I think it's a, another long fish. They're certainly testing the gear. Which is nice. You like them other rods, Pete? Yeah. It's a sturgeon. Yeah. It might well be. <coughs> it's too it fast well runs, ain't it? Not yeah. the big plodder, is it? No. Yeah. It might well be a sturgeon. I'm still young. I wouldn't it's mind one. Nice. I'm getting a scrap of that. I'm getting a scrap of that. Will he ever stop? You think it's a sturgeon? Yeah. Maybe. Lost the bit he's looking at. Could be. He's like powerful. I'm giving it. I'm giving it plenty of gin. <coughs> oh, I saw it come up and it looked quite long further out. It's probably the cobra. The cobra? No. Yours are getting bigger, Nicholas. That's yeah. three forties in. Yeah. Three big forties. Just Three saying, over 45. I was just saying, up there. My, the smallest was 47 something. Between this, the smallest has been 47. 
<laughs> We've had 47, 248, 49, and 55. Not too bad. You've seen the fish, Pete? Yeah. What is it? It's a long mirror by the looks of it. Very similar to the one I caught earlier. His bigger brother? His bigger brother, yeah. <laughs> it's just 50 pounds really of pure muscle. That's like these solid fish. No wonder it put up such a good fight. The great thing about these kind of fish is they really test your gear. You really sort of, um, when you're playing the fish up the margin and it's taking line like it's going off like a train, you know you've got your, you know you've got to have your knots perfect and everything sorted, so, right. Pumpkin and nutmeg, that's the flavour, is it? <laughs> no, pumpkin and, and walnut, sorry. Walnut? Yeah, the, you know, the, nut, the nut with the big shell? Is that yeah. a walnut? Yeah. as a team to try and break it up, don't they? I've seen one man. Like. What off the back of my baited area? Yeah, you know, actually, I let him have a few fish and I didn't have the rock anymore. So yeah. I thought it would be kind. Let him have a little go. <laughs> it's bad. Parker del Brenta Bambino. Not what we're used to, but still very clean fish. Bang on 30 pounds. Very nice. This is double trouble at Parker del Brenta. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Pete, Pete had one, and then his other rod roared off. So I took this rod. Far too easy here in the aquarium swim. <laughs> it's all in the preparation, Nicholas. It's all in the preparation. Yeah, we were all lumming and ahhing whether it was uh, wiping out the other line, and then I looked up and could see it was going totally a different direction. I like these rods. You want one of these? Nicholas's highest 12 foot 6, 3 and a quarter. I got a nice bend. <laughs> Can you make a statement to the governor? To the governor. Uh, Should have been here. Should have been here, yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> you were invited. No, he wasn't actually. He was actually. I said to him at the time. He was actually, yeah. yeah I said, did, did he want I to I said, go? we had enough swims, you know, for all, so. 
even Hutch, Hutch turned it down and he's been texting today as well. And Nicholas has already stated that the people that come and supported him on the initial trip <laughs> would always be invited and the people that turn him down would never be. <laughs> and that's just the Pete Castle, Parco del Brenta. Yes. 2014. Signing out. I'm also going to lose my job. <laughs> Couple of lovely uh, Parco del Brenta condoms. Condoms? <laughs> <laughs> Couple of lovely Parker de Brenta commons. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Pete. You right? Yes. Uh, you're changing your tactics slightly for these mm. wary carp. No, not really. Um, just a stick. It's actually the same mix I put in the solid bags, just in the stick with um, uh, just. A Kind of a snowman. It's not really a snowman. It's just a few trim down baits, bot uh, bottom bait, and a pop up. It's, uh, it's Banoffi high impact and cell pop ups. And uh, I'm trying that new cog lead out. Give it a go. It's very nice because when you pick it up, it's you pick it up from the heaviest point or from the from its center of gravity. That's what it's called. It's interesting. Let us see if it brings an extra fish on the bank. Cracking 46 pound common, and this is number 12 for me. Um, absolutely cracking fight. I shouldn't be disappointed as 46 because it's a massive fish, but I must admit I thought this one was a lot bigger out in the lake. It was really holding its ground. It's quite a solid fish. Really starting to get through them now. Hopefully, one of us will get a, an absolute monster to show you in this uh, little video. If we don't, then it's going to be a fantastic week anyway. But if we do, then there's going to be a nice surprise. Right, let's get this one back in. Lovely dark common. It really has been a fantastic week. Uh, the catching a fish at night has been difficult. It's been difficult to get up and get on the rods. You know, you could be fast asleep and the rods roaring off again. Um, having said that, the takes have just been absolute blitzers from the start. Every single one of them. I haven't had a sort of single bleep and the line picking up. Even when I've been fishing slackish lines, it's just been one tone. I've had my receiver and the bivy down here, and it's just been like bah! some two fish last night. I could hear the reel as loud as I could the. Uh, the um, buzzer, you know, because it was just screaming off that loud. Um, but we've had a fantastic time, and my tactic has been to wade through as many fish as I can, hoping that a big fish will come along. I mean, I've had two 50s and um, quite a few upper 40s, mid 40s, and I'm more than happy, you know. But there are some very big fish in here. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Um, we've enjoyed playing about with the camcorders at night and um, filming this for you guys and. It hasn't been a hassle at all to travel over here. If anything, you know, we, we got up early in the morning from England, um, travelled in, and, and you could be fishing by lunchtime, you know. It's some some of the places I've driven to in France where you're driving for most of the day. Anyway, catch up with you soon. Hope you're enjoying the Free Spirit videos, and um, good luck. Good luck out there, guys.